most stunning endings in WrestleMania history see Stone Cold Steve Austin align with Mr. McMahon to regain the WWE Championship. WrestleMania 17 was in many ways the last stand for WWE's Attitude Era. Steve Austin and Triple H formed a two-man power trip as an impending invasion from WCW and ECW would forever alter WWE. So much talent in one spot would lead to the brand split and a new era, one of ruthless aggression. And at WrestleMania 20, WWE returned to its roots in New York City, proudly featuring two ring generals competing for the WWE Championship with Eddie Guerrero defending against Kurt Angle. From his arrival to WWE in late 1999, Kurt Angle was an absolute natural in a WWE ring. His rookie year would see him capture the European, Intercontinental, and WWE Championships, an astounding accomplishment. The Olympic gold medalist always used his three eyes, intensity, integrity, and intelligence to either be a champion or to be competing for a championship. Angle lost the WWE Championship to Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania 19 in Seattle and looked for the opposite result at WrestleMania 20. Carrying months of resentment, Kurt looked to right the wrongs as he challenged for the championship. Despite coming from a legendary wrestling family, Eddie would not receive the path to instant stardom that his opponent did. Instead, he worked his way up from Mexico to ECW and then to WCW before finally earning a chance with WWE. It took him years to finally realize his dream, and once he had, Eddie did everything he could to keep it. In 2004, Eddie won a 15-man mini Royal Rumble that granted him a match against Brock Lesnar at No Way Out for the WWE Championship. The last man he eliminated? Yep, Kurt Angle. Still, at this point, the two appeared to be on friendly terms, even if the disappointment was obvious for Kurt. And at No Way Out in San Francisco, Eddie would achieve the impossible defeating Brock Lesnar to finally hold the WWE Championship. It was Eddie Guerrero's time. It was his time to show that he was a top performer. So I knew Eddie was on a roll, and I, I knew my work was cut out for me. Angle was victorious in a triple threat match to be named the number one contender. On the surface, it seemed all was well. Two fantastic competitors who would battle to see who was better. But it turned out that Kurt Angle had been seething ever since that 15-man rumble. And with his match set, he struck. Attacking Eddie while working as a special guest referee, Angle went ballistic on Latino heat. I felt the need to beat Eddie Guerrero, not just beat him, but beat him up and try to hurt him. The tone was set. This was not about competition or athletic pursuit. This was about a former champion desperate to reclaim his throne and a new champion who wasn't going to let anyone take his dreams away from him. Now it's time for you to put Kurt Angle in the silver medal position and find a way to retain Eddie Guerrero's WWE Championship at WrestleMania. But if you're not careful, Kurt's gonna grab that ankle and you'll have two choices, tap or snap. I'm the champion for a reason, and I'm just as good as you are. Nobody able to grab control. Both back to their feet in the standoff. the second that Eddie dove at him from the top rope. Eddie went chest first into the barricade, taking all the air out of him. As Angle maintained his control, Eddie again grew desperate, looking for any chance to get Angle on his frog splash to a downed Angle. Each time Eddie took a risk, it failed to pay off. Was Kurt baiting him to force the mistakes, or was Eddie just rushing the opportunity? Eddie would need to make adjustments if he was going to find the victory.
unable to maintain a dominant position for long. Both men were unsure of their path to victory. But Angle was not going to let that throw him off his plan as he... Eddie had fought so hard to get back into the match, struggling to get Angle back to his feet, hoping to put...